Here's a situation I found with this Remington 5. This is a square top. Remington 5, the, the B key, you can see here, is, is sticking. It will not return fully. And there's a number of things you might attack to uh, try to solve this particular problem. One of them might be these finger guides. If the if the key lever gets bent and it causes friction here, this is one of the symptoms that you'd find is that the key would not return. It, there'd be friction. What we should see is for any key, the return should be pretty snappy. It should be loose and return very quickly. So all the other keys are functioning the way we'd expect, but for whatever reason, the B key is sticky. Now I went through, I cleaned out the segment. It wasn't the segment. And um, there's a number of ways you can sort of isolate what's going on with that B key. One of them is the U-bar. So for this particular machine, this is a really good point to five, you have this universal bar here that is uh, providing some return force for the keys. So every key that hits it, and it's tunable with these fingers, but these are usually adjusted for touch. And in this particular case, if I, if I pull this away, and I hit the B key again and I manipulate it, it's still sticky, even while the other keys are good. So it's not it's not one of these fingers, so you don't want to adjust that. So what could it be? Well on this particular typewriter, if you look down here, you find a pointer I can point with. So I'll use this. You can see this assembly runs right between these two key levers. One of these is the six, and one of them is the B. So one of the diagnostic things that I did was to grab this lever this particular linkage and just kind of move it slightly out of the way and see if that changed the behavior of the B key. Let me try to find another way to do that. So I'll just kind of shove it over a little bit. It's hard to do without interfering with the the, the type lever, but I can see, I can see right down in here, this linkage is rubbing up against this. Now the tolerances are very, very tight. This guy's got a little bit of movement, but this guy is hitting. So if I, my theory, basically that proved out, was that I just needed to tweak this bar over just ever so slightly. Already it's it's better. So I will just tweak it a little bit more. And there we have it. Now the B key is responsive. It's popping back up the way it should. And the six key, we'll test it. Yep, it still works fine. That's it. So the moral of the story is it's not always what you think it is, and you just have to keep looking and find the actual root cause.